But it's not over. We know that Ian Stark's cross country course out there here at Bramham in the northeast of England is very tough and it is a very influential time. I think we've seen probably 16 uh, rounds inside the time since this event has uh, been running and it first started back in 1974. So it's not going to be an easy time out there. And Vittoria is probably one of the fastest ladies in the country. So she'll definitely, with that fence down, she will go for the money. Let's wait and see with a lot of excitement this afternoon. Well, Roz Kante joins us in the arena now, lying in 10th place after dressage. Roz rides uh, All Star B. They started the dressage at Badminton this year, but sadly decided to withdraw after the dressage. Very talented young rider. And we're now into the top uh, 10 horses. It's owned by Roz herself and Caroline Moore. They, uh, this as horse I said, is jumping massively. It is he jumping looks massively. Like he's just a real top show jumper out there. He's having a great time. They bring forward a dressage of 43.3. She probably needs to move up again. She might get slightly a little bit outside of the time, but so far it's jumping really well for her and she's doing a great job. She's like, looks like they know inside out that combination and she's riding on a double bridle. That means like she needs to get that horse a little bit more on the hind legs, a little bit more of a connection in front of her, but very soft and quiet with her hands, giving the horse a look at this. It's giving her heaps. Well, Roz previously trained by Judy Bradwell and uh, she's trained by Caroline Moore. I mean, two very good ladies to be training with. And it is clear coming yeah, to the well last. A very classy round. I would say that will match Blythe Tate's round early on. That well, I'm very beautiful.